hey, here we go again. It's March now. <laughs> Last week it was February, and now it's March. That's how quickly time flies. Boy, we got a we 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 got a program for you today. We really, Job has really uh, made me full, and uh, and with this war going on in Ukraine, I tell you, it's just it's just bringing the, uh, what God shared to light. It's bringing that revelation piece to life. So. Now, before we get started, let's start off with, you know, I got my, I always have my sidekick up there. Ah, uh, she's smiling. That's what I love about babies. The joy of the Lord is your strength. And she sure is full of joy. So let me, let me go ahead and start praying. And then we're going to get to Job, because Job friend going to light into Job. And even though he's wrong, he's going to light into him. And, and, and Job going to come back because he's on his second win. But but let 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 I, I I won't I won't get the surprise for you. Let let let's let, let's start praying, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for your Holy Ghost, Lord, who leads and guides us today in all truth in this COVID environment and and all this war torn environment. And we don't know what's going on, but you do. We understand the wicked. We understand the righteous, and we thank you. We thank you today for your mercy and your loving kindness that's new every, every day. Now, Father, as we go into our uh, Job series, help me to decrease this vessel of clay, these lips of clay, to decrease and you increase in me. Give us revelation. Whoever here, let, the, let them hear your words, not my words, Lord. And we thank you. We praise you. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. And we'll come back and praise you again after this, after we go through this chapter of uh Job, we'll come back to and we're gonna pray to you and we're gonna we're gonna talk a little more about what you what was said in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm ready. I'm ready. Like I said, I'm full. I love this book. And uh, I'm a, what I'm gonna do unless she our screen. Let's share our screen. Uh put a little music in the background so we'll share our screen okay like always you know this is this is interesting like always we always start with in the beginning God because it is very important that you read Genesis 1 the whole chapter but if you just read Genesis 1 through 5 it gives us our context Every book of the Bible gives us our context in the beginning. Go up. We understand that we can go on and look at, you know, this is 2020, Job experience. This is 2022. Uh, Job was over, probably over 6,000 years ago. Okay, this book, this character is called Job. Real person. And it deals with God's love and God's friendship test. We all go through them even in 2022. And like always, what stands out, he said, it is not, this is what Job is saying. He said, I love this. He said, it's not the task of the year to discriminate between wise and the unwise. <laughs> Just as the mouth distinguished between desirable and undesirable food. He said, for the ear tries words as the pilot tastes food. I'm saying that because I want to get that into your spirit. The ear tries words. So we hear words, whether I'm in, I'm in a Spanish class, I'm trying the words 
as I, the pilot in my mouth, taste food. You can see whether it's wise or unwise. Okay. Now, we always go back and we look at what is this? You know, love suffers long. That was written in, he said, love suffers long. It's a, uh, we, we, don't, we don't understand that. The book of Job teaches that with all this death and destruction around us, people were, you know, moving on to glory. Okay. We, we, we got to understand, it, it's knowing God. It teaches us that, it, to know God. And his unconditional love it teaches us to know the redeem his redeeming spirit. It teaches us to know God's truth. You know what is truth? Everybody always say, What is truth? You know, truth is facts, and no, 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 God's word is truth. And I always put a little if you if you don't believe me, believe the word of God. It teaches us true belief in God's word. We know the word of God is Jesus. In the beginning was the word. The word was God. And the word was with God. And the word was made flesh and dwell. Okay. We understand that. It teaches us to love the Lord and your neighbor with all your heart and all your soul. Jesus came there for people for it teaches the, these two non-compromising principles of God, his unconditional love and the cross. Mm. Unconditional love and cross. Not about us, about what he did. Not about what we do. It's about what he did. It teaches us that Jesus Said, this is what he said. He said, I'm the light of the world. That's what Jesus said. I'm the light. Then he, he turns around and says, You're the light. You need to you need to understand that who you are and whose you are. And we put this little fact in here about light travels. And, uh, this is per second, 186,411 miles per second. You know, you can't even fathom that. By the time I get a word out of my mouth, the light has already traveled 186,000 miles. And look how many seconds in a day, 86,400 seconds in a day. And all those seconds in a day should be about Jesus. Focus. But we don't, we focus on other things. And he said, uh, it joked, he said, you know, one day you're going to understand this. He said, on that day, he said, on that day, when, when time comes, this is what Jesus said, that you will know for yourselves that I am in the Father, my Father. You are in me and I'm in you. We understand that oneness. We grow up. We grow up. It's nonsense. We grow up. Now, I always put, I'm putting no, no, nuggets of wisdom in, in each message I teach. And I love Psalms 119. So I love to hear every word of Psalms period from 1 to 150. But these are the Psalms. This one right here, this is the law. The law of the Spirit. The law of God. Law 119. Chapter 119. You need to take time to read it. The longest Psalms in the Bible. Now, the psalmist, each of them take a piece. And this piece this week, the psalmist said, he said, you, and I put Jesus, because I, I don't want to just stay on that side of the cross. You got to stay on this side of the we all We're on the other side of the cross. Okay. These guys, said, a lot of things didn't know. They didn't know Jesus' name, so I'm putting Jesus' name there. He said, you. He said, Jesus. He said, I say, Jesus. Jesus is my portion. But he said, you are my portion. He said, you are my portion. Oh, Lord. And I put Jesus in. If I say, oh, Lord, I, that's what people do today. He said, Lord and God, and don't put the name. There's power in the name. 
And that's what we don't do. We need to understand power in the name. So he said, he said, oh Lord Jesus. He said, I'm saying, oh Lord Jesus. This is a prayer. He said, I have pro he said, I have promised to keep your hear you who? Who who words? Jesus' words. I entreat you, Jesus. I entreat favor, your favor. Whose favor? Jesus. With my whole heart. And he said, be merciful and gracious to me according to your uh, Jesus promise. You don't have to, he said he is gracious. That's why he said, I, I'm in there. He said, I'm in the Father, you and me, and I'm in you. Okay? That's what it means. He, he, he said, like, pal, you know, be gracious. He is gracious. That's who he is. He said, I considered my ways. Look at that. He said, I considered my ways and I turned my feet to obey. Look, he turned. He repented. He turned his feet, my feet. That's what repentance is all about, turning. Turning in a different direction. It's not about crying and doing all the things. Yeah, that's part of it. But you got to turn. You can cry and then you can stay, go stay and you cry and going in the wrong direction. You can speak in tongues going the wrong direction. He said, turn, turn my feet to obey. That's the key, obedience. Your testimony. He said, I made haste to delay not to keep your, who? Jesus commandments. People don't even know what Jesus commands. He said, I give you a new commandment. He was talking about taking them with all those 600 and something laws. These I gave you now. To love one another as I love you. Uh, new commandment. He said, Though the cords of the wicked has enclosed and ensnared me, I have not forgotten your law. Jesus is the law. He said, at midnight, I will rise and give thanks to you. Who? Jesus. Why? Because your, he said, look at it, your righteous ordinances. Your righteous ordinances. We're going to get into that when we talk to Job. He said, I'm a companion of all those who fear, revere, and worship you. Wow. Worship who? Jesus. And those who observe and give heed. See, not only your word, they worship, they give heed to your precept, really, your word, your doctrine, your teaching. He said, the earth, oh Lord, see, Jesus, oh Lord Jesus, is full of your spirit. It's full of your spirit. I see, that's me putting those words in there. That's how I pray. Mercy loving kindness teach me your holy statutes your holy word teach me holy spirit your holy word teach me teach me holy spirit your word that's how he's praying this is a prayer okay let's, let's move on down now we'll get to the story because we this, this is interesting now see you see joe provoked something last week joe provoked something okay he provoked now he lied past the, the, the Timonite. He comes back and now he's showing himself. That, but he's a friend. You got to always remember he's a friend. See, if he wasn't a friend, you know, he's not there. He didn't come there to taunt Job. He really came there. He came, his purpose, his intent of his heart is to come there really to comfort, but he didn't know how to because he didn't know the word of God. He didn't have no knowledge of God. He thought he did. These folk back didn't have, have uh, who God was. Job has already been told by, the, he told the devil. God already told the devil. He said that Job was right, righteous. He was mature. He was perfect. He was mature. He was ready for them, in other words. He, he, he knew about God, but he didn't know God. And that's what some of the, the 2000, 2022. 2022, people still, Mention in the name of God, don't know God. Have no knowledge of who God is. So, 
the only way you're gonna know is you feel with the spirit. And then you, you still you misunderstand. You have a lack of understanding. You say, well, all, all get it, get understanding. You need you need the knowledge of God. You need to know. Knowledge means no, no, understand, comprehend, discern, all those things. Joe, we start with Eli passed the tip of the he answers Joe. Joe came with some heavy stuff last week. Now he comes back. He said, can a man... Look, look, look at what he write. This is what folk without knowledge right? Look, look. I mean, he like... Now he gonna, he, gonna, he gonna come out and say, yeah, you're right. You are. You, 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 you. Look, look, look. I'll just let you read. He said, can a man be profitable to God? Now I put Jesus there. That's about it. You know, when they put God, I put Jesus. Okay. Can he be profitable? Yeah, he can. Surely, he, you know, he said, surely he that is wise is profitable to himself. Uh oh, here we go. He's talking about self again. Himself, he profitable. Yeah, he profitable. He profitable to God. Now, come on, self got to die. He said, let man die to self. He can't even be his, his disciple. And we still, self is something. I'm telling you, self is something. He said, is it any pleasure or advantage to be? To, to the Almighty, that you are righteous. Look, what kind of nonsense is that? Upright and in right standing with him. Is it problem? Is it pleasure, event? Or is it gain to him? I put Jesus there. That you make your way perfect. Hmm. These are the questions, you know, we, we should have the answers to. He said, be ye perfect as I'm perfect. That's what Jesus said, be ye perfect. Be ye be perfect, be ye mature. Be you perfect. The Spirit of God in you makes you perfect. Till you start walking in you. When you're born again, you can walk like Jesus. He said, be ye perfect as I am perfect. He gave you a helper. Look, but look at this. We, we on that, we on the other. Now, we on this side of the cross. We know that. They didn't know that on the other side of the cross. We, if we preach these things as though we are on the other side. Okay. He said, it is for your reverential fear of Jesus that he thus reprove you, that he enters you into judgment. Mm. Look what he's saying. Is not your look at uh oh. Now he's calling say, is it not your wickedness great? Now here, this is friends talk. That, that's why I love friends, because friends can they can be real. They they're not deceived. They're they gonna tell you what they think. They can't tell you what they if they can't help you by telling you what giving you clear instructions and guidance and because sometimes hit you hard he, 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 even though he's wrong he's wrong he said look he's talking about his wickedness it's great there's no the end to your iniquities look, look what he's saying you know a lot of folk couldn't take that if they said uh, for even the uh, enemy told him that he said for you have taken pledges of your brother for nothing you stripped the naked of their clothing no he didn't you have not given water to the weary to drink, and you have withheld bread from the home. Look how his, his, his accusations of Job. This is a friend. But you, Job, the man with power, look. He said, for you have taken pledges of your brothers for nothing, and you stripped the naked of their clothing. You have not given water to the weary, and you have withheld bread from your home. But you, Joe, the man with power, possessed the land. In the favor, an accepted man dwelled in. In favor, the accepted man dwelled in it. Come on. Come on, keep talking. That's why I love book. Keep talking. You have sent widows away empty-handed, and the arms of the fatherless have been broken. Look, arms of the fatherless have been broken. This we accuse. He accused Joe. Therefore, snares all around about you, and sudden fear and trouble overwhelms you. The light, he said, your light is darkened. 
so that you cannot see and the flood of waters cover you. It's not God. Look at him. It's not God. Yeah, what? In the height of heaven? Yeah, he is. He's not on the height. He's in the breath and depth of the earth. He said, behold the height and the stars, how high they are. Therefore, look at that. Therefore, you say, how does, how and what does God, I put Jesus there, know about me? I want you to hear what folks say. Can he judge through the thick dark, thick darkness, thick clouds of covering to him? So is he, uh, but Jesus there, does not see. And he, Jesus, walks on the vault of the heaven. Come on, y'all got to read word for word. Don't let somebody interpret for you. Read word for word. This is the Amplified Bible. He said, will you pay attention and keep to the old ways that wicked men throff in Noah time? Look how he comes. You talk about he's a wicked man like those. Come on. Only Noah, Abraham, you know, God, God talk called their names. Noah, Abraham, and Job. He didn't call Eli bad. The Temanite. And men who were snatched away before their time, the foundation was poured out like a stream during the flood. Look at that. Will you pay attention and keep to the old ways of the wicked men throughout the troll the Noah time? Men who were snatched away before their time, whose foundation was poured out like a stream during the flood. They said to God, uh oh. Uh, he said, depart from us and, and what can the almighty God do for us do for or to us and he said Job was like one of those he said yet he yeah 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 God Jesus filled their houses with good things Damn. but the counsel of the ungodly is far from me The righteous see it and are glad. The innocent laugh at them to scorn, saying, Surely those who rose up against us are cut off, in which we remain to them the fire has consumed. We're almost there. We're almost getting there. We're going to talk about it. Quaint now yourself with him. Uh oh, Jesus. That's even that's a two thousand. You point yourself with Jesus. Agree with God, Jesus, and show yourself to be conformed to His Jesus will, and be at peace. See, that's this two thousand twenty-two. He say one thing, and he accused Job of one thing, and he say, "Quench yourself, Job." Say, I, I, <laughs> "Oh my God, he don't come back and talk." He say, "Be at peace." By that you shall prosper in great good shell. Look, great shell come. Shall come to you. Receive, I pray you, the Lord instructions from Jesus' mouth. And lay up his words in your heart. Uh oh. If you return, if you repent, this is what he told you. Look, Joe, come on, just repent. If you repent, Turn, if you return to the Almighty like you, he said, and submit and humble yourself before Him, you will be built up. If you put away unrighteousness far from you, tent. Come on, folk. If you lay gold in the dust and gold of Oprah, Oprah, among the stones of the brook consider them a little worse and make the almighty your goal and the Lord Jesus your precious your precious treasure then you will have the delight of the almighty and he and, 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 and you will be lifted up he will you know he said and you will you will you will 
lift up your face to God. You will make your prayers to him. We're talking about Jesus. And, and he will hear you. And you will pay your vow. You shall also decide. He said, you should also decide and decree a thing. And it shall be established for you. In the light of God's, he's talking about Jesus' fame, his grace. She'll shine on your way. He said, and when and when they make you low, okay, you will say, there is a lifting up in the humble person. He, Jesus, lifts up and saves. See, what they do, they get, he just, he just quote, yeah, but he don't understand what he's saying. He have no knowledge of what he's saying. Just like today, people quote, don't have no knowledge of what they say. He will even deliver one for whom you intercede who is not innocent. And he said, that's why the prayers of the righteous avails much. That's what he's trying to say. The prayers of the righteous avails much. If you intercede, that's what God said. Pray, pray, pray for those. Who use you? Pray. Hello. Who, 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 who deliberately is this nasty? You pray for. People cuss me out. Pray for. Oh, Lord, I thank you for. Help them, Lord. They cuss you out. Pray for. But he was correct. See, he was, he, 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 he had a spouse. But Job going to come back on. He said, he will deliver the one who you in see who is not innocent. Yes, he will be delivered through the cleanness of your hands. That's what he said, uh, right? That's a, that's a true, he can, they don't know. Putin don't know. Okay, let me, let, let, let's start. Uh, this is, this is, because so I want to keep that fun. You got to understand why you pray. He did say some truths here. That's what that's what folk, religious folks say some truths. But do they believe what they say? Do they obey what they say? That's what that's where the crossroads is. That's where the crossroads. You tell Cain, you know, sin crouches at your door, but you, huh, he desires you. He crouches at your door. He said, but you, you, you don't have to do it. You don't have to make a choice. We make choices. Now, let me stop sharing. Let's get back in. Let's, let's start talking. Then we want to. Father, I thank you and I praise you. I lift you up. I thank you for that, that message, even though he's a friend. He's a friend. He's a friend of Job, just like we have friends and they say the same thing about us. So, Father, I thank you for your reality of Jesus. I, I can't put, I, every time I say Jesus, you know, the cross, he be crucified. You know what I'm talking about? I think it because you know me and I thank you. I thank you for my grand and sitting up here smiling, happy, joy, full of joy, joy, Lord. It's her strength, my strength, your strength, everybody's strength. Joy, Lord is our strength. That's a true statement. And so father, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. And, uh, we're going to a time of sadness in the Davis family. Uh, Diana, you took her home and, uh, and uh, she's home with you. And, uh, and uh, the family says, sad back there, but Lord, uh, help them to understand that you are God all by yourself and your mercies and loving kindness endures forever. I don't know what the story is, but they, but you do. You're waking us up even with Putin and his, his craziness, his wickedness showing us flesh to our face. Yeah, fast, uncontrolled flesh, destruction and destroyer. He, he's showing, that's who, that's who the devil is. He, he's, a, he's a destroyer. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Destroy families, destroy friends, destroy everything just because of anger, 
anger is murder. The man is full of hate. But Father, you are full of love. And you understand. You told us to pray. He said, pray. <laughs> Don't worry about it. He said, I told you it was coming. This. And he said, more going to come, more, more destruction going to come. But we sitting here still, we still here dancing and, and not, not caring. And uh, we, we, we have not done what you asked us to do. But Lord, we thank you for this book of Job. We thank you for this act. We thank you for his friends. We thank you for this reading, this, this time of meditation this, the, 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 that's going out on the tube. And as we end this broadcast, Lord, as we come to an end of it, you know, and have a few minutes of common, you know, a commentary, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Don't let me be like his friend. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your knowledge lord thank you for your understanding thank you for jesus i can't say if i had a 50 billion trillion quadrillion tongue i could not thank you enough for jesus in his cross he'd be crucified so let's let's start this uh, lord we're just gonna say in jesus name and we're gonna, we gonna start this commentary Okay, I tell you, <laughs> thank you, Libby. I thank you for, for your, 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 your constant joy that's in you. So, uh, you know, I, I have to, I deal with this every, every week. Like I say, we, we have these kind of conversations. The big story this week is always Ukraine. And, well, you know, and, and all you, all you got to understand, that's flesh. That's, that's the world and that's flesh. They have nothing to do. That's flesh. That's flesh. The devil could, is 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 in that that mess. This man even came out on TV and said Ukraine is his is is family. Is this is is, is Russia? Now that that's 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 so. Uh, that's an oxy, oxymoron. If it's Russia, you killing your own people. You destroying your own people. You have babies sitting up there crying, and the you know, and the bombs just indiscriminately almost almost hit a nuclear plant. If that nuclear he hit that nuclear plant with a bomb, get what everything it, it wouldn't discriminate between his soldiers and the Ukrainian people. It'll kill everything, and, and so many mile radius. It would affect the Russia if the wind blow in that direction. It would affect it all of them. But uh, you. Let's get back to Job. This man came out. He admitted. He said, Job, you wicked. You wicked man. God called this man right to. Now you want to see what the real you is. You under pressure. So Job hit, hit a chord. And he came back. Now Job going to hit another chord. Pretty soon, they just going to shut up. And that's what we're going to get to. They're going to shut up. And then God going to. Then, 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 then another guy going to come on the scene. Then God going to come on the scene. And then Job going to shut up. Then he's really going to do with the guys. He's going to repent. And shut, he's going to shut his mouth and repent. And that's what it's about. Somebody about us shutting our mouth and repent. Turning from this nonsense that we do. We call church. And do what God. God's Jesus said, follow me. Follow me. Not follow man. He said, follow me. He said, follow me and do what I did. COVID should not hit a stronghold in the church. It should not be sitting up here temperature gauging and, and all this junk that we do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, apostles. I apologize to prophets and pastors and, and teachers and evangelists if I offended you. They should not. That, that, that should never have been even a that shouldn't even cross your mind. You should have been focused on God. Not on Fonchi, but on God. And what he said. You should have been focused on Psalm 91 or, or Mark 16. It ain't going to affect you. Because he, he said, because he, you love him. You think he was surprised when COVID hit? You think he was surprised when those different variants hit? 
You think he's surprised when cancer hit? And all these other diseases that we don't even know about. All these other viruses that we don't even know. You think he's surprised? They even got some out of germ warfare. They got stuff that you ain't even heard of. Playing around with it. Using it, weaponizing it. You think God don't know about that? That's why he said, just preach the gospel. Do be wild with it. Do what I told you to do. I know Leo looking. <laughs> you got, uh, but we're we gonna leave that alone. I just want you to understand. We we have to understand our whole purpose of Job is to see God. Our whole purpose is to follow God, understand love, his unconditional love in the cross. This is a perfect, this is a long-suffering book. We don't know how long Job suffered, but he suffered. He said, those who follow Jesus, those who follow me, going to suffer. But those who suffer going to reign with him. Everybody going to go through these tests. Your faith, your faith is not proven to God. It's proven to you whether you really love God. That's what, that's what it's all about. The closer you get to God, he's going to show you a little bit more of you. He's going to show you your flesh. He already listed it in Galatians 5. If you want to you want to see what the flesh is, go, go. He names it. The spirit of God names the flesh. And he said, walk in the spirit. And he names those things, which is love and joy and peace and faith and long suffering and meekness and gentleness and goodness and self-control. He named it. And then all you have to do is go look up in the Bible, get a Bible dictionary, and then it tells you what each one of those means and see where you are. See whether you're walking in the flesh or walking in the spirit. I know when I'm walking in the flesh and I know when I'm walking in the, in the, in the spirit. I know. That's what maturity would do. God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good. So I'm going to leave it on that note because I think we took up long enough because we get back because we got to hear what Job got to say or Eli, Eli Pass going to come back again and say something. You know, we're going to see. We're going to see next week. God is good. Like I say, this is a good book and it's going out on on YouTube. It's going to stay on there. And then I'm, I, I did what I was supposed to do. I'm going to start putting some Proverbs in this stuff. I'm in the Proverbs now. He getting me in Proverbs and then get me in Revelation, all this other good stuff. You know, he, he's working, he's working the son. He's working, he's serving his son. Yeah, I love, I love him. I love, I love this word. I love, I eat it, eat it like food. Like you say, the mouth, taste. And ears hear, try words. So I'm gonna leave that alone. Olivia, okay, I stop. I stop. You just stop, Grant. Stop. You, you making me laugh here. Okay, I leave that alone. <laughs> I laugh just like you. I love that smile. Keep it up, because life have a tendency to take smiles off people's face. But I'm still smiling at my age. I'm still smiling. God is good. I'm, I'm getting happy. So I've got to end this thing so I can, get, I can get some shout outs. Okay. Thank you. I praise you. Let, may the Lord face shine on you and keep you and cause his face to continually, continually shine on you each and every day. That's this side of the cross. His face is shining on us. All we got to do is walk in the sunlight and believe. You see, believe. So on that note, God bless you. And I see you next week with Job number 20, is it 23 next week. God bless you.